Well, hello. I'm glad you could join us for our story time today. Sometimes it's a good idea to try something new, even if we think we may not be very good at it. We may surprise ourselves. Froggy learns to swim. It was hot. It's a great day for a swim, said Froggy's mother. So Froggy and his parents flopped outside to the pond. Flop, flop. On your mark, get set, go! Froggy's father sailed in, splash! Froggy's mother sailed in, splash! But where was Froggy? Froggy! called his mother. What? Come on in and swim. No, no, I don't know how to swim. I want to swing. Whee! said Froggy, swinging higher and higher. He swung so high, he almost touched the sky. He swung so high he wound round and round the crossbar, then unwound like a spring, and flew through the air right smack into the pond. Splash! What are you doing? asked Froggy's mother. I'm drowning, cried Froggy. Help! He grabbed hold of his mother and climbed on. What do you mean you're drowning? Don't you know frogs are born in the water? They are great swimmers. Not me, bubbled Froggy. I can't swim. Oh, fiddlesticks, she said. I'll show you how. First, float on your belly and stick your face in. I won't let go. Say, bubble, bubble, underwater. Then raise your face for air and say, toot, toot. I don't want to, Froggy whined. Oh, come on, Froggy, just try it. Repeat after me. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, spluttered Froggy. Great. Now float on your back and do the frog kick. I won't let go. Then go like this. She showed Froggy how, saying, Chicken airplane soldier. Do it and repeat after me. Chicken airplane soldier. I don't want to, whined Froggy. Oh, come on, Froggy, just try it. Check an airplane soldier, gasped Froggy. He glubbed and blubbed and almost sank. Mommy, I need my flippers. Then I'll swim. Froggy climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his flippers, loop, and flopped back into the water. Flop, flop, splash. Now try again, said Froggy's mother. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. He glubbed and blubbed and almost sank. Mommy, I need my mask and snorkel. Then I'll swim. Froggy climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his mask and snorkel, zook, zick, and flopped back to the pond. Flop, flop, splash. Now one more time, said Froggy's mother. Bubble, bubble, toot. Toot, chick, an airplane soldier. And then it happened. Oof, spluttered Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. Oh, nothing, he said, looking more red in the face than green. Well, it's getting cold, Froggy. It's time to get out. No, no, I, I can't get out. Why not? Well, and we bubbled underwater as she crawled away. Then he burst up for air and yelled, Wait! What is it? asked his mother. My bathing suit, he shouted. Don't look, I'm getting out. Froggy climbed out and yanked on his bathing suit with a zap of elastic. Then he pulled on his flippers, zoop, and sailed back into the pond. Flop, flop, splash. Froggy, called his mother. What? I told you it's time to get out. No, no, I, I don't want to get out. I want to swim. Froggy's mother shook her head. I told you frogs are great swimmers, she said, and sat down with Froggy's father to watch. And Froggy sang, Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier, all night long. Our friend Froggy didn't think he would enjoy swimming. 
but with the help of somebody he trusted. He tried something new, and with a little bit of effort, he soon discovered that he not only liked swimming, but that he was great at it. I hope you'll find somebody to help you try something new soon. And when you do, think of us here at Storytime.